Okay, in this video we want to continue looking at solving trigonometric equations. So in this case we want to look at particular examples where the uh, trigonometric function does not have just x in it but has uh, multiple of x, for example 2x. So what we're going to do is proceed as normal. So we'll have the reference angle that's found using the normal triangle 1, 2, root 3, pi on 3, pi on 6. Tan is opposite over adjacent, so we have opposite over adjacent, so the reference angle is pi on 3. Now we need to determine the quadrants. This is where the factor of 2 comes in. So if we have, uh, as per usual, all students talk crap, this is between 0 and 2 pi. Since there's a 2, what we'll do is go all the way up to 4 pi. So we'll have 2 pi, 3 pi, and then 4 pi. We still have all students talk crap. Now tan is negative here. So that's this quadrant and this quadrant, and that one and that one. So as always, we go from the horizontals. And what we find is that 2x will be pi minus the reference angle, 2 pi minus the reference angle. This one will be 3 pi minus the reference angle, and 4 pi minus the reference angle. So what we see is that 2x is pi minus pi on 3, 2 pi minus pi on 3, 3 pi minus pi on 3, and 4 pi minus pi on 3. So if we simplify this, we get 2x is uh, 2 pi on 3, 5 pi on 3, 8 pi on 3, and 11 pi on 3. But we don't want 2x, we want x. So then we just divide all of these solutions by 2. And so x is pi on 3, 5 pi on 6, 4 pi on 3, and finally 11 pi on 6. Now the reason we go up to 4 pi is because exactly when you divide by 2 it comes back to 0 and 2 pi. Notice that if, if x is between 0 and 2 pi then if we multiply every term by 2 we get 2x is less than or equal to 4 pi. That's why we do uh, two uh, versions of the quadrants. Okay, same thing. Here we have sine 2x equals 0. Now to figure out when sine is 0, if we draw any triangle, then the y values are given by sine of the angle. So let's say the angle is there is theta, and the x value is given by cos of theta. So when sine is 0, you want to have this length being 0. That occurs here and here. So in particular, if sine 2x equals 0, then 2x equals, well, between, we're going to do four quadrants, so two, two versions of the quadrants, and we're going to be here, 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 and here. So remember this is 0, pi, 2 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and 4 pi. So what we see is that 2x is going to be 0, then pi, then 2 pi, 3 pi, and 4 pi. We then divide by 2, so x equals 0, pi on 2, pi, 3 pi on 2, and 2 pi. So we haven't really discussed uh, these these cases here when it equals zero, but this is exactly how you how you do it. So those are the solutions in this case.
Okay, so let's look at another type of example that can come up when sine x is equal to cos x. The way to do this is to divide both sides by cos x and then we find that sine x on cos x equals 1. Now, just to introduce the definition, this is exactly how tan is defined actually. So tan x, this is the same as tan x equals 1. And so we know the reference angle here. This is one we asked, I asked you guys to rem remember. And we see that the reference angle is pi on 4. Okay, let's do the quadrants. So I need to go all the way up to 3 pi. All students talk crap. And so that means we'll also have these quadrants as well. So all students talk crap. Okay, so uh, tan is positive in these two. So we approach again from the horizontals. And so x is 0 plus the reference angle. Uh, pi plus the reference angle. 2 pi plus the reference angle. And we don't include this one because this one goes past 3 pi. So if we just calculate these, we get x is pi on 4, pi plus pi on 4 is 5 pi on 4, and 2 pi plus pi on 4 is 9 pi on 4. And that's it. Be sure to check the video description for practice problems in the tutorial notes, and fully work solutions and answers are available in the cheat notes also down in the video description if you like this video hit the like button and if you like this content and want to see more of it i'd appreciate it if you subscribed thanks guys i'll see you in the next video